Hey guys, so if I look like a zombie, just know that I ran on four hours of sleep until a two hour nap earlier. Today was Prime's birthday, so we had a super busy day celebrating that. I will link her birthday supply haul in the description as well as her birthday vlog that I made, which I'm so proud of that video, so you guys can go check that out. Today I'm gonna show you what's in their stockings. If you guys are new here, I have a six year old son and a now two year old daughter. She just turned two years old today. So it's gonna be late, but maybe it'll give you some ideas for next year's stock. Do you think that I did really good this year for their stocking and I'm like super proud of it? And so I really do wanna upload it and show you guys. Let's get on with the video. This year I decided to try to be less candy like less candy, more interactive, and things that we can do as groups, me and my two kids, you know, just try to be more fun. Christmas isn't all about gifts to me, and even though that's what I had when I was younger, I kind of just want to just raise my kids a little bit, you know, to appreciate the little things as well. And, you know, stockings are little things. So I did limit myself to candy. My mom is actually going to make a stocking for their kids. Her and her girlfriend are gonna make their own, so they've got some candy. I've got my own candy, and then uh, a friend of mine and her mom sent us a big old box. I've talked about it a couple times, and they sent some candy. And I kind of forgot about it, and then I went out and bought candy. So they have a little bit more, but it's Christmas. It's not really gonna matter. They're gonna have a bunch of candy anyway. So just a few quick things. I just basically picked up like some a mix of like Milky Way and Three Musketeers and stuff. Uh, my friend, I believe, sent these, which are just Reese Cup mini um, candy canes. I grabbed two little things of miniature M&Ms. She actually sent M&Ms as well, and so, I don't know, we just have a lot of M&Ms now. But well, uh, some little Santas and some Peeps. These are two things that I would not have bought. I don't know why I usually always buy these, but I actually didn't think about it this year, so shout out to her for sending these things because I didn't even think about it. And Drew really loves peeps. So that. And then there's uh, other little things, but candy's kind of boring. <laughs> I got some Lifesaver gummies for the kids. We got these at a Christmas dinner that we went to and they really enjoyed it. And so I picked those up for them. And then I got my mom some donut sticks because this is like her favorite junk food. And she actually put these in our tree last year because she didn't want to go all the way to her kitchen. So on to the goodies. I paired them up as perfectly as I could even given their age differences as well as their gender differences. Mostly they're very close, which is kind of something that I try to do. My mom's like, they're still young. And I'm like, my subconscious says I need to keep them even. Looking at this, it makes me really realize that A, I do have two kids and B, I do have a little girl. Sometimes I just feel like it's not real that I have two kids. And then I celebrated a two year old girl party today and I shopped for a two year old girl stocking and it's just it's so crazy the first thing i grabbed them was a couple of crayola bathtub finger paints there is a flamingo pink and screaming green but i thought that these were super cute and i think that they'll enjoy those staying on bath stuff because there is quite a bit of it i got them both a bathtub fizzy watercoloring tablets drew has loved these ever since he was like two by the way both those bathtub paints were a dollar at walmart these are both a dollar at walmart as well her a mini and drew a PJ mask. Those are two things that they like, so I thought that was cute. Seeing all this stuff laid out is like an aesthetic of mine, by the way. <laughs> I also got them each a magic towel. Magic towels were like my favorite thing when I was a kid. I really don't know why because they're the worst washcloths in the world, but I love them. So I grabbed Drew this one because it has Flash, Batman, and Superman. He likes all of those. And then I got Beanie a Moana one. Bean is obsessed with Moana. She absolutely loves Moana. She watches Moana every night. Netflix just took it off and I'm very upset. So now I have to go buy the DVD. She has Moana cups. She has Moana um, things she did for Christmas. She's got just Moana blankets. Like Moana, she's got Moana dolls. She's got a bunch of Moana toys for Christmas. And then the last bath thing for Drew was this uh, Jurassic World fizzy egg. I got it in blue. They come with a dog tag inside, which he's gonna think is super cool. Now this was the only thing I paid over a dollar for with the kids. It was actually $3, but Drew's going to love this because he loves Jurassic World, but he also loves bath bombs. So it's super cool. I did pay over a dollar, but um, I was gonna get Prim a bath bomb, but I feel, I feel like it would irritate her eczema. And so I didn't get her bath bomb but to make up for not getting. I just grabbed this Mickey um, Mouse lip balm. She really likes chapstick and she all the time uses my mom's and mine, as well as her brother's. <laughs> and then I grabbed this nail polish. Now this is just Disney Princesses, which we all know that Prim loves, but 
Uh, this is a non-toxic peelable nail polish, but clear on her nails because she does like move them all over everything and they don't dry in time. I don't really know how well this is going to go over, but I'm, I'm hoping that it'll go well. So this is just a Ariel and Cinderella and it's pink and purple, which is cute. I found these cool little things at Dollar Tree. Drew is obsessed with Roblox, actually. He, and it's his new thing. He loves Minecraft. Dollar Tree has two Minecraft in there. Well, there's one and then you get little ones, you get big ones. Um, I got him another big one that was like his zombie kid and... He also has like this big Minecraft building set that I got him for Christmas. I also got him Roblox. So he really, really wanted Roblox. He's been saying this forever. And so my mom got him a like two pack of Roblox that come with like an animal and a weapon. And then I got him a off brand of Roblox that comes with like eight like little characters like this one right here, only a little bit bigger, which are, they're smaller than basic Roblox, but they're bigger than these little ones right here. And then I also got him a him like a $20 pack of like, the regular like name brand like or Roblox as well because he really likes them and so he's gonna end up with like 20 of these little type of Roblox type people and he's gonna love them but I actually found these at Dollar Tree it was super cool for a dollar they probably have more designs but this is the only designs that my Dollar Tree had at this time so I picked up this one which is just a glare hello this one is a military man and policeman and then I also grabbed this one which was a doctor and a girl I was really hesitant to pick this one up because I was like that's weird but I like it anyway. So I grabbed those two for him and because I got those two for him I picked up these two little dolls from Dollar General. Everything else was from Walmart besides the bath towels and then these two little things that I showed you. Um, these are from Dollar General and they're just little little Barbie dolls. She doesn't have any Barbie dolls like this. I grabbed an orange one and a purple one from Spirit Colors Orange. And the last two I guess four items that I got for them was I got them each a canvas they are super super big into painting, drawing, coloring. They love it. They painted Halloween ceramics, they painted Christmas ornaments, they color almost every day. They, they're just very artistic. Drew actually has some talent for his age and Prim just loves it and also to color on herself. So I grabbed them each a canvas. These were at Dollar Tree for a dollar and I thought this is something super fun that we can do on a cold day that we can't really leave the house and we want to just do something fun and just do something as a family. I thought this was super cool so I picked this up and then I just grabbed one think of paint because they can share and then I think we actually might have some extra paint as well as another paintbrush so that would be fun for them to do keeping on that topic like I said I wanted to buy like interactive family things I also bought them each a notepad they steal my notepads every single notebook that I have they take they color them they draw on them Drew likes to rip papers off to give people tickets they're crazy he's got pictures all over his wall that he's drawn and prints drawn they just love it and I need my notebooks. <laughs> I do planning, I do grocery lists, not really big planning, but some planning. I do grocery lists, I just write down, I have a diary or a journal. Like I need my paper and y'all are stealing it. <laughs> so these are from Dollar Tree, you get 150 pages. I actually ripped one out of each. It was a very funny clip in my last video that I don't have. Um, and they are plain pages. They can do whatever they want to do and they have 149 pages to do so. I thought that they would really enjoy these. Now, the fun part's gonna be fitting all this into their stocking. So if you were only here for the kids part, then this is probably the end of the video, but I am gonna show you a few things that I got um, for my stocking, my pet's stockings, and my stepsister's stockings. I, every year, and my mom, there's a couple things around too. Well, one. Every year I buy my pet's stockings if I have the extra money. I did find a dog stocking. It was actually in a grocery haul that I uploaded it for vlogmas day something i'll link it in the description and i got her a stocking but it didn't come with any treats and most dogs like treats better than toys she is going to be excited for her toys but i did want to get her her favorite treats which are sausages i said love sausages i i don't know why but she does and these are just her favorites so i was like well i'm gonna pick these up and she'll really enjoy those it's been a minute since she's had some treats and then uh, my cat isn't into toys at all. I've never seen him play with anything outside of a hair tie or a grape, to be honest with you guys. He loves grapes. He's obsessed with grapes. And so I just picked up this uh, Dairy Flavored Temptations cat treats and then a collar. Both of these were from Dollar Tree. We have an extra stocking this year anyway, so I'm just going to hang this up and, or hang it up and put these in there and that'll be his own little stocking. It's nothing, I mean, crazy, but... It's something. My mom clearly cannot fill her own stocking even though I've been doing that for myself and I don't, there's not really a lot that you can get my mom because she's not very needy. She doesn't, she doesn't think of herself so she doesn't know what to say that she wants. So she'll just have some of the candy that I have, these donut sticks, and then I got her a word pad. It was at Dollar Tree. 
and I just thought she really likes to sit and do these and so it would be something cute to shove in there that she doesn't know anything about and she will be like, oh, didn't know I was getting this. And I'd be like, mm. <laughs> So I just grabbed her a word pad. If I get out in the next few days, I might grab her like a couple other things because I've got this and then one, two, three, four, and four gifts, which is a movie, a waterfall, cologne, and then a surprise gift. So she's really, she's really gonna love Christmas. And I'm so happy that I and other people could make that possible for her. I'm so excited to see her face. And then I got my stepsister a little dollar body, what is this, Bodycology? Um, nope, that one's mine. Bodycology perfume. I actually got one of these in my stockings last year and I, I don't know, it smelled really good and it's only a dollar. So I was like, cool, she picked out the cherry blossom and then she also picked out this cherry blossom bath bar, which kind of changed what we were gonna buy like three times, but I was like, pick something out, and we went to like dollar stuff as much as we could. <laughs> and so, yeah, those are her two little things. And then I also put in this hair mask. This is just a Garnier for Tease hair mask. But like, I'm a troll, and I put as much tape as I possibly could on this, so she couldn't find any openings to be able to open it. Oh my God, I hope she doesn't watch this video before Christmas. This is going up on Christmas. Okay. Um. And I just want to watch her struggle to open this on Christmas. So, got her hair mask. That's it. And then I got myself a Bodycology, and then this one is Coconut Hibiscus. I feel like you can never have enough perfume. I stocked up on perfume last year for Christmas, and it's almost gone. Because I have everybody always buy me perfume, and I'm, it's almost gone, so I need more. And then, oh my god, guys, if you use Lush, please let me know if this Walmart-type off-brand Lush thing that they've got going on is similar. I found this and I got so excited. It's like similar to Lush, pa Lush packaging. It's it's a ba bubble bath jelly. Okay. That's it for my stocking video. Maybe it can help you guys for 2019 apparently because my life is a mess with these technology things. If you guys did enjoy this video though, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you have in your little one's stockings and what's, what's their what their ages are and if you can take anything from this video. There's gonna be a ton of links in the description, just go check them all out. I also have merch, which I will put somewhere here. Subscribe, I will put somewhere here. And then I will also add my 2018 Vlogmas playlist that you can watch somewhere in here. And please go do all of that. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, turn on your notifications, check out all the links. We have merch, go check it out as well. And have a terrific day.